Jared Poland, Photo.com here with a preview of the DJI Phantom 4. So what is this camera all about? Well, let's get into what the design looks like. First and foremost, it is a new sleeker design. It's glossy white, it has thinner arms, and it has a sleeker body altogether. But the biggest addition to this camera is called obstacle avoidance. What does that mean? It means it has two forward optical sensors, two downward facing sensors, and two ultrasonic sensors. That means it's creating a 3D map inside of the drone itself to help with obstacle avoidance. It's not just sending pings out into the world, it actually has sensors to see in front of you, to see around you, to see below you, to help you get around obstacles. If it encounters an obstacle, it will either go around it, it will go above it, or it will hover in place place so that you can then tell it what to do next. But there's some there's some new modes. Oh yeah, and because it has these new sensors, it's five times more stable when GPS is not activated. That is a huge thing. It basically just hovers and stays in place so it's easier to fly. They're saying it's one of the easiest drones that they've made to fly yet. So what are some of these modes? It has active track mode, which keeps the subject in the frame and allows you to control the camera. So what you can do is it's going to keep the, the, the subject in the center of the frame as it's flying. So if somebody's running or they're turning or they're moving, it's gonna keep them locked in the middle. But that gives you the ability to then control the camera because you're not worrying about flying the drone because it has that obstacle avoidance. But one thing you have to be careful of, it won't see power lines, it has trouble with fencing and it has trouble with meshing because there's not enough substance there for it to, to basically read it to avoid it. What else do we have? We have tap to fly. This is pretty cool because Say there's trees at a distance. You can tap on the map on the screen and it can fly out to the trees, avoiding obstacles. It's gonna determine what is the quickest path to get there and you can control the camera the entire time and then click another button on the screen to have it come back or to move where it's going around, which is pretty awesome. And now they also have a sport mode. A sport mode is going to let you do 45 miles per hour flying. It's like being in drone racing that is super extremely fast. It, that, that's absolutely insane. But what that means is you can get the drone out to somewhere quicker to then do video while you're out there, or you can bring it back to you quicker. You can ascend and descend quicker. Also, it does 28 minutes to a battery charge. That's better from the 25 and the 21 previously. And now let's get into the gimbal part of it. The gimbal is now integrated into the body which means it's more stable. It also basically cups the lenses, the, the lens side by side like this instead of just dangling there to help it become more stable. It has the same 4K sensor as before, but it has a new 8 element lens, which is supposed to give it better corner sharpness and less CA uh, in the image, which is a big thing. It still has a 94 degree field of view, but here's something new that is pretty good. 120 frames a second at 1080, that is great if you're gonna get into slow motion video. The price is only $1399. When you think about the competitors that may be $1800 or more that have uh, avoidance systems, this is much less expensive. But this is pretty interesting. At $13.99, it is price to sell. That's not that bad. If you want to step down to the lower ones, you're under a thousand bucks that DJI makes. If you want to go up to the higher ones, you start at $3,000. But this is a pretty action-packed filled camera and drone system that, that I think is going to be pretty amazing. And again, there's only going to be one model this time. There's not going to be three separate models, which is a smart move and now it's gonna be featured at Apple stores. That is something new, that is a pretty awesome deal between DJI and Apple to have their drones featured at the store. And the last thing is you can't forget about DJI Care for $299 a year, it also covers pilot error. Now if it flies away and you can't find it, they can't replace it. If it dink dinks in the water and you can't get it, they can't replace it. But if you bring it back to them and it's more than 80% beat up, you know, not repairable, they're going to give you a new one. So in essence, you pay the $299 for the 12 months, you're going to get basically $1,400 in credit towards, towards accidents that may happen and basically they'll fix it or replace it which is pretty cool. So at $13.99, this is a pretty awesome camera. It's some awesome features with the obstacle avoidance and I'm looking forward to trying it out because if it's more stable and it can stay away from objects, then I can spend more time controlling the camera myself as a one-man band and that is a preview of the DJI Phantom 4. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.